Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tisha from Mommy Managing Money. Thank you all for clicking on my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing my first official weekly check-in. I had a video that I previously just did, probably less than 10 minutes ago, where I went in and set up my monthly calendar with my stickers. Now, I'm going to do my weekly check-in in my Gooseby Twins, just a regular notebook. That's how I'm gonna keep up with my expenses. All right, we'll get this out of the way and we're gonna go ahead and move on in because I'm on time management mode now, trying to get these videos a lot shorter than what they are. Okay, so, all right, I'm gonna use my Erin Condren as my guide. So I'm gonna have that off to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up because what I have to do before we start on that weekly check-in is to go ahead and lay down the um, things that I have purchased using my cash envelopes and I do have my key that's right here that you can see yeah, with my butterfly because I love butterflies. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and zoom on in. I'm gonna do my best to make this a quick video. All right, so on, I forgot one thing, I apologize. My dates. All right, so the first expense that I spent in my food category was on 4-6, which is April 6th. And I went to, well, me and my coworker, we both had Sugar Hill. It's a pizza restaurant downtown where we work at. So I am using my guy from my budget sheet out of my sinking funds so went there twice well i'm sorry we went there we both had a meal i paid for her lunch as well so for six i'm gonna start at the bottom so i could use this as my guide so that sugar hill my food and then her food Okay, that looks a lot better as far as laying out the stickers. And let's see, I, on the seventh, had Arby's. I don't think I'm better get all these in here. No, I'm sorry, moving on to the next day. Girl, you just tripping. All right, hold on. Come on up, there you go. So on the seventh, I had Arby's. And on the seventh, oh, also, Kaysen got him a kid's meal from McDonald's. Okay. Yep. And on the ninth, I went to the dollar general general but i call it dg so the last two expenses on the ninth was a total of 153 for this one and uh, 351 was the next one I will list where I got these expense tracker stickers from as well. So that is it for my 
food category, okay? Let's put those to the side. The next thing, I do not have any expenses for fun. So I'm gonna skip by that one. Then gas on four five, I deposit. Well, not deposit, but I got, I think it was $44, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, $44 to fill my tank up. So, four or five. And then on the ninth, I also got gas again. Usually it's not really how I be getting gas, but it was a lot going on again this week. So I've been doing a lot of extra driving, which is fine. So gas. And that is all the gas for this week. I am doing basically the first through the 10th. That's going to be that weekly check-in that I'm going to be doing. All right. So the next thing is going to be groceries. The only thing I spent for groceries was $8.50 at Lowe's Food. And that was on... Uh-oh. How am I going to get this in here on the 9th? Mm. I'm just going to have to kind of add it like right here, right over. Well, I don't want to cover, but now I'm going to go up a little bit more. There we go. And that is for the ninth. And nothing for the tenth. Mm -mm. No. All right, so that is everything that I have as far as my expenses laying down my stickers. All right. So I put this off to the side as a guy. I'm going to go ahead and lay down the stickers for my first weekly check-in. All right, and again, I got these from Jennifer Bleacher. I'm behind on my sinking funds, but I'm gonna skip a page. We're gonna do two pages. And she's also known as Life in the Envelopes as well, too. Just go ahead and lay this side down as well. So when I come back to do next week, that's one last thing I have to focus on. Uh oh, it's a little too high. I see it. I see it. And I like her stickers. Oh no, 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 no. It's tearing. I spoke too soon, right? So, oh man. I thought they was removable. I think they are. I think it's just the way that I was bringing it up. Yeah. All right. Let's try this again. All right. Yes. That looks a lot better. Get these out of the way. That looks a lot better. That is so presentable. I like that. All right. So the next will be the category sticker. Category budget actual difference and monthly total. Okay. All right. 
So now I'm going to actually write down my categories. Okay. So I'm going to do bills. That's all of my bills for the month, okay? Food. Fun. Gas. Groceries. I think it should be hair and beauty. I think I kind of flipped it. Well, okay. I just leave it like it is in. Household, hair, and beauty, and miscellaneous, planning, and shopping. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. And then my total week. Lay that down. Oh, come on. There we go. Make sure it's kind of lined up. Okay. All right, so that is my first official total week. ahead and go on to writing down how much I budget for. I want to draw lines, but I did not have the calculator out. I'm not calculator, I'm sorry. My ruler out. So I really want to draw some lines, but I'll do that next time. Yeah. Okay. So budget for the bills amount was, let's see, $3,004 even. The food budget amount was $40. Fun was $20. Gas was $200. Groceries were $100. Hair, I'm sorry, household was $45. And hair and beauty was $40. Miscellaneous was $100. And the planning, $20. And shopping was $100. All right. So that total is going to be. Three thousand seven hundred and six dollars. That's the total for the budget amount for these categories. And now we're gonna move into the actual or what I actually spent so far. Okay. So for the bill totals for everything that came out according to what I have on my Erin Condren monthly spread as of today is two thousand. $946.70. What I have used so far in my food category was $36.49. Fun is nothing. Gas is actually $84. Yeah, $84. Groceries. Hold on, I want to make sure I did not mess up gas. Yeah, okay. Groceries is $8.53. Yep. $8.53. Household, nothing. Hair and beauty, nothing. Miscellaneous, nothing. And planning, nothing. And shopping, nothing so far, okay? So that total is $3,075.00. And 72 cents. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead on to the different side. So the difference from the budget and the actual is 94.30. And the difference for the food that I have left over is $3.51. So therefore, I will be packing lunch if I eat lunch. So, so far I've only had lunch, what, uh, what, I think twice? Yeah, twice, because I haven't really been eating lunch. And I have my reasons, um, for that. Alright, for fun, we still have $20. And then everything else, yep. Gas, I have left over $116.00. Groceries, I have $91.47. And then that's when everything else is exactly the same because I have not spent any of those categories yet. All right. So the total for the difference from... 3706 to 3075 is $630.28. All right, and that is officially my first weekly check in for week starting at the 1st, April 1st, to today, April 10th. Of bills that have already came out and money that I have spent out of my cash envelopes and I did want to go back to my Erin Condren and put down my no spend for the eight and I think this, yeah. And I know spend for today because I don't plan on spending anything today. So I got so far two no spends. All right, you all, thank you so much for coming out watching my first weekly check in. And I will be doing these check ins on either a Saturday or a Sunday. So when I come back to do the next check-in, it'll be from Sunday the 11th. Yeah, Sunday the 11th, you can see it, to the 17th. Yep, thank you all. You know what to do, hit those three buttons for me, write it down you all, and watch it grow. Thanks.